Hey everybody! Today I'm going to be making an imitation crab meat frittata. For that I'm going to be using one pound of imitation crab meat. That's back here. I'm going to be using some pepper, some scallions, seven eggs, regular onions, obey seasoning, garlic, and some cymbal. Now if you don't have cymbal, I guess you could just use red, uh, red Hot, Frank's Red Hot, or any type of hot sauce you have. Okay, when you open your crab meat, what I do is I drain mine off because it, it retains a lot of water. Then I put it in a bowl and I flake it apart as such. And then I'm going to add my seven cracked eggs. To that, I'm going to add my onions. You could add as many onions as you want. If you like a lot of onions, add that. Next, you add your scallions. You could add as many as you want. There's no right or wrong amount to add to this. Then I'm going to add one tablespoon of minced garlic. If you want to add more garlic, you can. One tablespoon of cymbal or your hot sauce, whichever you have. And if you like it hotter, you could always add more. Now for your obey seasoning, your imitation crab meat is salty, so go lightly on the obey. Just give it a little sprinkle or two. And add as much pepper as you want. Now when you're done adding all your seasonings, just mix it with your hands and incorporate everything really good. Okay, when this is all mixed up, then you come over here and you give your frying pan a spray in with canola oil or pan and then you heat it up until it gets hot. Okay, when your pan is hot, you add your frittata into the pan and you wait for it to start getting brown and then you try to flip it or if it breaks, then you just try to flip it the best you can. While your frittata is cooking, make sure you keep working at it so it doesn't stick on you. Just keep working the edges and keep moving your, your pan around so it doesn't, you know, stick on you. Okay guys, my frittata didn't come out as expected and yours probably won't either. So just mush it all together, fry it up, and believe me, it tastes good. Now you could always add some cymbal sauce, garnish it with cymbal sauce, or put it on some toast or some rolls. Enjoy! 